Hello my friends, it's Bruins here and today we're playing some more Evil Dead game. And because I know a lot of people are saying Demon is useless, yada yada, just decided to go back to Demon to see what I can do. And I honestly haven't played Demon. Ooh, maybe it's three weeks now. So, you know, I thought I was going to be a little bit rusty, but I just wanted to see if I could just overwhelm the survivors with my play style. And maybe if you guys are new, maybe you'll learn something. And if you guys, some of you are probably more experienced than me, but you know, who knows? We always learn from each other anyway. So here I'm just going around looking for chests, right? You just want to trap the chests that you hear. This humming sound if you're not quite aware of it yet and then just keep trapping everything along my way until i find the survivors we are on the big map here i think what i was doing here i was putting some points on demon vision and it's probably the only map i'll use demon vision because uh, it's just too big I'm not even sure it makes a huge difference so here they have found the first map piece and i'm just going around trapping as much as i can what i like to do is just drop a couple of traps maybe in places that i know they might come to so each location i go by, by i i might not trap the whole place here i'm doing quite a lot of trapping but I might just trap some of it just to try and keep them busy, you know, and keep them engaged in to fight. So here I found a purple chest and I thought, well, might as well just trap it. And there's always this glitch here that if you trap a trap next to it, you won't appear. You have to get out of it. Uh, you have to get out of range and then back and then it works. So they got two map pieces now. I'm just trapping. I'm level four. You know, guys, I don't worry about cars. I, I just don't. They're gonna use it. It's just part of the game. Yeah, there's no point complaining about oh cars, they jump in car. It it is what it is. They're just gonna use it. So I I I won't waste I wouldn't waste my time flipping cars. I'd rather waste my time setting up traps in, in perhaps key locations and just a little bit and then try and move on and keep looking for the for the survivors. Because as soon as they start falling on your traps, if they're doing a bit of a loop and going where you were then you will start getting some points as well some if some um some points so you can level up so now that we've done demo vision i like to do traps and unfortunately that uh sash started making noise so i kind of know where they are now so i just go straight there and i'm gonna be i, I think some of these guys they're not massive level nobody's level one i'll tell you that now but some of I think one or two of them are level maybe 80, not too different from me. And I'm just, I'm, I'm just, I'm just gonna be ruthless, really. And even being ruthless, you know, you still make mistakes, and you know, you can't completely overwhelm them like that. Uh, but I just try to be as quick as and if, as efficient as possible. Trap, trap, trap. So I trap all the places that maybe they walk past in order to get out of that end, because you can see the cars. If you look at the map now, the cars are up and down from that end. So you just want to trap around there. And then they are in this house now. Cheryl is alone there, so I'm going to go for her. But they are in this house. You always want to trap a couple of houses next door to where, to the one that you're in because they will go to the next house, obviously. So Shara's alone, so I'm, and she's just messing around here. So I'm just going to put a trap here and I'm going to wait for her. Now right, she found the trap. I'm going to power possess. All right, then I got a bit stuck in there and then a little bit more stuck in there. <laughs> totally messing around. Okay, and then I know that Sash is near me now, so two supports are here, and he's not seeing me, I'm just gonna go for him. Okay, and as you guys know, basic possessions are very strong, very difficult to get them down, especially by two supports. Warrior's a Warrior Ash is on the way, but he's not there yet. He does that to lower his fear, I'm not sure this is the call, because I mean, we, we engaged in combat, why are you gonna stop and be a sitting duck like that? And I just keep looping him around and just really getting his energy down. Now that Ash is here, I'm gonna start dodging. You gotta dodge. There you go. Next one you Guys, if you're not dodging when you're playing Demon, you're making a huge mistake. There. Just escape a few a few attacks. Now I'm stunned, but I'm gonna come back because they're not that strong yet. I hit all three there. Okay, now that's it. And then you don't come out of the possession, you just explode, right? 
Alright. Now this is bad damage, but it is it's all I've got at the moment, so I'm just gonna go for it. And more is coming and Warrior Ash is coming behind me, but I'm still on her. He just can't get me down. Okay, he's gonna try and he tried to kick me there, but he didn't. So they're all low now. And I need some energy. Because I wanna possess someone straight away. And I hear I just lost track of them. And then they healed, so that was my mistake. I'm gonna put this back on because someone in there and the other uh, Sash just went in there. He's gonna drop it. He's gonna fall into that trap. Alright, we got it. And I couldn't aim for the life of me here. I'm terrible at aiming. Alright, uh, shot out. But they got the last map piece now, so they're ready to start point. So Hunter Ash is not with them. I don't know where he is. Yeah, he's messing around. Oh, he's dead now in the north. So just before here, Cheryl was going, Wash was behind her. You just want to trap along the way because he, he just fell for that one trap there, right? And then I'm going to chop around here because I know she's going to come in. And I'm going to power possess and just do her thing. And Hunter Ash is not here yet. It's going to start vaulting and that's okay. Okay, and here I just missed him. But you know, my Inferno energy goes down so slowly. I just had a look, have a look around and see what's going on. So Warrior Ash, he's coming out, so I'm just going to go for him. Oh, that's actually Hunter Ash. I don't know why he's not doing his power on me. Oh, there he is. So you see, you want to go for the isolated survivor. You want to stop and look sometimes. Because sometimes you're so rushed. You just go, go, go. And then you lose track of people. You don't know what you're doing in the end. So Cheryl and Sash went together to point. And that's a terrible choice. So they deal 20% less damage with melee and ranged weapons. And yeah, they can probably cover for each other, but it'll be a very hard push. So first thing you want to do when you get into point is trap everything. So I'm dropping some units because I'm regenerating at the same time that I'm setting up the trap. So I'm just going to trap all of this because I want as many units on the ground as possible. I want to over you want to overwhelm them. Yeah, you don't want to one-on-one them. You want to you want to mass this as much as possible. I got the boss. I get the boss out because I've got loads of units on the floor and they are going to get overwhelmed right now. So he's going into animation. We just stop that whole thing. Cheryl's trying to do some damage on me. And I think she heals here. Yeah, she manages to heal. And that's okay. My worry now is that the other two will start doing points as well. And they, maybe that will be a problem. Uh, Cheryl's down now. Okay. Alright, he's, he's toast. Worst choice they could have made is split, is split cap. This way, at least. Okay, the other two are there now. They're trying to do the point. And you know, it's Hunter Ash, we can, which can depossess you very quickly with his power. And Warrior Ash, they're both very strong. So now at this point, I just want to go. Yeah, they got a little bit too late. If they were a little bit earlier, it would have been better for them. And I'm saying like that for a reason, <laughs> because I know what happens. <laughs> the, the other two, so the other two are dead, and I've got seven points now, which is huge, right? They only started one point, technically, and I'm already level 18, so that's very good. Uh, they're about a quarter of point done, so same tactic, trap everything. And you see how effective it is to trap as much as you can. You're gonna see. You don't wanna not use it. Okay, he's got his ability on. And Hunter Ash uses power on me. Not sure he's dodging properly. Okay. Okay, it's not a power possession, so the cooldown of Thunderstruck is 20 seconds. All right, you see, he just fell for a trap there. OK, 
Okay, my Thunderstruck's coming back now. And you know it's underrated, I'll tell you that now. You want to use Thunderstruck as much as possible. You see, Hunter Ash fell for it. Warrior Ash didn't. But it's gonna hit for as many survivors as there are on the screen or near you. So one of them is gonna be hit. Okay, I wanna try and maybe possess. So I got both of them. So I can possess Warrior Ash. And I don't manage to do much here. Well done. Alright, I just missed there was a trap that had to be set up. I didn't see it. But that was a mistake. But still. This is a power possession, so you can see the timer for Thunderstrike. It's just <laughs> crazy. Six seconds. And, they, and he fell for it again. Ah, okay. He had his ability there again. Alright, he fell for Thunderstrike again. He's got his ability on, that's why he didn't deal as much damage. And it took point. You see? They, those two, they, they're good together. They're good individually as well. I mean, Warrior Ash was a beast when he launched, right? He, can, he could 1v1 bosses. So he's still very good. He's very tanky. He's one of the tankiest warriors. You can never underestimate them. Now, <laughs> here's the mistake again. Sash and Cheryl are together again. I mean, <laughs> do I have a thing for each other or what? So it's just it's just not gonna work, right? This is the recipe for disaster, really. Alright, he's lowering his fear because he knows I might possess him. I'm gonna trap around it a little bit because they're doing a little bit of looting. She's got the car now. I have no energy. So this is a mistake, but it is what it is. You don't want to waste your Demon Dash, you know? And this, what I did there, I just rushed, really. I wasn't thinking about it. Because it's 90 seconds. You have to wait for it to recharge. You can down someone in 90 seconds, and if they're trying to revive and you don't have your Demon Dash, it's not what you want to do. Now, they're looping me around, you see? They drove down, now they're driving up, and they, they were trying to loop me around. Now, I just want to run him over, and I do a very bad job at that. But, something does happen. I'll hit him a, him a little bit, and then the unit comes along, and he starts getting hit. Okay, and that's it for this car, really. But they did a very poor job there. <laughs> He's lowering his fear again. And I always prefer to possess cars and try to hit the survivors, and maybe waste the car that way, than trying to flip cars. I just think it's absolutely pointless. So, he went off on his own. Wash, right? And then I thought, why are you going out on your own? There you go, two hits. What was that? Three hits. And there's a unit there. So, I'm just messing around with this car here. Can't do much. Okay, he's healing. Oh, I think he's used his ability. It's not the right time to use your ability. I mean, he was trying to lower his fear, maybe. But you want to save the ability for when the boss comes out or you have a... An, uh, possessed units around you and here I have nothing to do with him absolutely nothing so whatever I just move around a little bit because I got no traps around that I can drop him into so maybe I was rushing a little bit too much here as well but I'm level 23 they haven't done us they only have done one point you know they're not doing well I'm right, falling for traps I'm gonna trap this because I think she might follow Warrior Ash And I decided to get the boss here because they're kind of scattered, they're not really doing much. And I'll just mess this up completely. And I'm they're stuck there. So I decided to go around because that's what they wanted me to do to follow them. And I get stuck again. <laughs> okay, finally start hitting them. Here comes Cheryl trying to attack me. I mean. This is what I don't understand. There's a car right there. Nobody bothers to get into the car. So they're messing around here. This bleed on. It's going down now. Yeah. Because I got my bleed on. I got 400 attack there. Support Ash. And he's going to go down as well. Right. I've only got Wash to worry about. And look at this. Someone started points. 
Hunterash started points. He's trying to distract me, but I much rather do the best I can with these three and just make sure they die than to go drop everything and go after him now. Right, he's used his ability, that's why he managed to heal. Right, he's got massive bleed damage happening there. And he's done. Now I'm gonna go straight for Hunter Ash. And you can see that he's already out of point because he was just trying to distract me. He wasn't really trying to do point. He can't do point on his own, he knows that. So he was just trying to distract me. So I just start collecting energy as much as I can. He's not, he's not doing point, he's, he's messing around now. And I'm just gonna trap as much as I can around the area. Because when he comes, then I wanna be with as much energy as possible and I want all these traps to be as active as possible. Okay, so I got one more point there. I'm already level 27 now, because I downed all three. Okay. Let's just trap all this. It's not very likely they will. he will come through here because they've already been, but I'm gonna do it. All right, he's driving a car now, so he's coming. And then I need to restock my energy because I've been trapping, so I did not with the fullest. Okay, but well that's okay. He's here now. And I know he's gonna go there. That's why I, I preempt he's gonna go there to that soul. So I use the dash. And here, we mess around. I'm, I messed up big time again. I power possess. So I wasted my power possession to try and... Um, get him but he just gets into the car which is the right thing to do that's what you want to see survivors doing he's doing a good job and he's got this, all the three souls with him so i just have to prevent him from resurrecting them now really now this is where a lot of demons rush and you guys freak out a little bit he's taunting me a little bit you see because you know he's gonna get the car it, it doesn't matter but this is where a lot of demons you just panic and then you start oh my god oh my god oh my god i have to I have to I have to and then you stop thinking what you're doing really and this is where you really need to s stop yourself and just chill right he's gonna try and resurrect them here i've got boss i could get the boss out now but his fear is high which is good I'm just going to wait and see what happens a little bit. I don't want to possess him right now. I just want to wait and see. Right, he's dropping his gun. And I'm going to possess him now. He probably thought, well, he's going to dro he dropped his gun because he thought he was going to revive his mates. I was going to let him. That was, that was a strange play. I don't have any traps around. Not great. But I just move him as far away as I can. And then I drop him. Just to have a little bit of energy left. I've got my demon dash. I've got no no energy. I wanted to set up a trap to maybe drop him on it. No. Oh, you see? He's preempting. I'm going to dash. He knows I'm going to dash. And now I get the boss. Straight away, I get the boss. And this is such good timing. Look. He's not able to finish the resurrection. So he's toast. So you have to be as quick as you can. <laughs> and you have to just stop and think sometimes. Just look around you. Yeah. Okay, he's healing. I don't mind. Because I've got all the Inferno energy I need to down him. And I've got a, another unit now coming for him. He's wasting his dodges. His panic dodging. Yeah. No chance. Anyway. Hope this was helpful, guys. If it did, drop me a like and subscribe for more. And I'll see you next time. This was the best defense that humanity could offer. How pitiful.